Hey YouTube, Windraiser here, coming to you with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be looking at Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Transformers Kingdom, G1 Toy Accurate Pterosaur. God, that was a mouthful. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so this is Pterosaur, as he appeared as a G as his uh, G1 Toy incarnation. It was red, purples, and greens, and blacks, and whites. Ooh, pardon me. But I'm about to do something, and you're going to see one problem I have with this figure. Well, besides that. if There he goes. <laughs> this is not on purpose. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. I'm going to have a problem now. <laughs> My pterosaur copy has the loosest thigh swivels, the loosest hinge joint here for transformation, and the loosest most loose ball joints ever on ankles for a figure. I can get him to stand. It requires him doing. Ah, here we go. He's standing on his own. So if I, I'm gonna move the camera a bit. He's ever so slightly arching forward. Just ever so slightly. But we'll take a close look at him. I do love the texture here on the chest plate, which will rep supposed to represent the faux tail. Got purple here for the hands. Got purple, some purple in the thighs, some on the shins. I do love the feet. Very nice. Got some white for the face, green for the eyes. Nicely done. There is a ball joint in the head, but there's not much articulation, except for side to side. The arms are on a, can do a full 360. There's a hinge for in and out. Bicep swivel, bend at the elbow, nothing at the wrist due to how it's going to transform. There is a thigh swivel, or waist swivel, sorry. Legs can go forward and back. You can kick out that far. There is a thigh swivel, and like I said earlier, mine are very loose. He has a deep knee bend. Uh, there is this joint, and this does not click in very, stay in place very well. And his ankles, loose, ball joints. Nah. <laughs> Trying to get him like that. Trying to get him to stay put. He does not want to. So I'm going to have to hold him. He does come with one accessory, that being his little blaster here. And it's just molded in red plastic. It's very nice. You can peg this here on his waist. And there's a little uh, slot in his hip. Can you can just peg right there. But, uh, he can hold his gun. And shoot some Maximals or Predacon traders in the back, which he is known to do. Um, I don't have my Megatron out with him, with me to do the size comparison next to him. So for now, I'm just going to have to use Metal Hawk here. Go over here. Got Metal Hawk. Uh, another Dino Boy. We got Slag. And Soundwave. So you can see how tall he is compared to Voyagers and Leader Class figures. Oh my, he did not move. That's a surprising. So to transform him, it's fairly simple. He's basically a heavy retool and repaint of Kingdom Air Razor and Maximal Silverbolt. Or Maximal Skywarp, sorry. So go ahead and transform him. First we're going to do, we're going to come to the wings. We're going to unpeg him from right back here. Fold it up. And unpeg. Bring it out. Fold that into that slot right there. And extend the wing. Let's go ahead and fold that and unpeg it. Just push that into that section. And then we got his wings all done. And you can have them like this for flying poses. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Next, we're going to 
push this back panel here and we're gonna unpick it. And then this piece, his chest part, is going to accordion up. So just hold his waist or his butt in place. And I always hate this part because I can never get it to accordion properly because of how it, the joint is. I just don't like it. There we go. Because if you move one side, one will stay down. You're supposed to move them in tandem because they're on this hinge that moves it up and down. And I don't like it. Go ahead and take his wrists. Fold them in. Fold them into place. There's a little cavity for his fist to go in. And fold that in, rotate it, and bring it down. Go ahead and fold his head up. Take the pteranodon head, rotate it around, peg it into place, and bring it down. Next, we'll take the tail, flip that up, Rotate his waist 180, fold that back down. Now, here we come with the legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the foot, rotate at the hinge. Okay, rotate the foot that way. Bring the leg up, swing it out a bit. There is a small ta uh, hole right there. That one right, right there. That, that tab's gonna go in. You want to bring the leg down in the process at the same time and pick that into place. Bend at this hinge while bending the fo foot like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And you saw that frustration. This is too loose. And there we have him in his dino mode. And it's a nice pteranodon. It's just the only problem I have with my figure. As you see, I'm barely touching this. This swivel is so noodle loose that it's driving me insane. I know there's a way to fix it. I just haven't got around to it. But I, if I barely stand him up, he just, that just falls over. Haha, there we go, I understand. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there you have him in his pteranodon mode. And he is a pteranodon, not a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl is a smaller version of pterosaur. It would have a longer tail. Shorter, he smaller head and beak, smaller head crest. Sorry, I'm a dino nut. But this is a pteranodon, he is a pteranodon. And this is how his original toy looked, was just red with some black with some green spots that was it it's a, it's a nice deco i do like it i like how it resembles his g1 self mm, you can see his head in there I move the dino crest out the way you can see his face just he hello but they did paint the eyes on the on the head they painted the teeth oh, very cool Posability for him in dino mode, very loose legs and ball joints. But the new stuff we got is the wings. So there is a hinge here. There is a hinge here, 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 and here. So we got four hinges to work with. The head can move up and down, and it can do a full 360. And the beak can open and close. So he can do nom, 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 nom. But even the inside of the mouth is molded, like right here on the tongue. Very nicely done. I do like it. Uh, size by size comparison. The only thing I have to compare him for a view, for anything in another alt mode is my legacy Starscream. And he's got him beat on wingspan. Like you can see. Granted, yes. It's a jab, but eh, what can you do? But we can take his weapon and peg, peg it on that slot either way. You can have it pegged this way or have it pegged this way, which is the way I prefer to have it. 
and you can peg it on either side. It's not much for getting it out of the way because in the original one, uh, the old one stored behind the robot head and the toy. But yeah. Uh, this was only a Target exclusive for the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. Um, I do have his partner or his other compatriot, Dinobot, and I'll be reviewing him in a later date. So, this has been my review for the Buzzworthy Bumblebee G1 Beast Wars Pterosaur from the Transformers Kingdom line. I'm Windraiser, and I'll see y'all on the next review.